by now, Gale's acquainted you with our little scheme to cut you adrift and start a new life in Italy. I like to say she took a lot of persuading to abandon her family. Alas, no. As with my seduction, she didn't need asking twice. That's not true. Shh! You made it easy, Gail. Far easier than I dared hope. But did you seriously think I could ever love you? And what after what you did to Audrey and myself? You destroyed my best hope of happiness. So let me return the compliment. There is no new life in Italy, no job in Tuscany, and no money left in your bank account. Because by the time you watch this, I'd have taken it as compensation for what you stole from me. Which brings me to you, Audrey. You did what no other woman ever could. You made me, you made me happy and content. I truly was a changed man until Gail meddled and forced me to revert to type. We could have been so happy, Audrey, but I'm afraid this is our last goodbye. And that really, truly breaks my heart. I'm sorry for any pain this may cause you, and I mean you no harm. Tiemma, my darling. <sighs> Kylie, I like you very much. You've got, I don't know, you've got something about you, and you could do a good deal better than that weasel of a husband. And you deserve happiness too, Nick. I hope you both manage to find it one day. Hey, look at that. The perfect cocktail. It just requires a toast. And this one's especially for you, Gail. Cicento ne fa una ne aspetti. Or as we say in this country, what goes around comes around. Mm. Exquisite. Ciao. It looks like something out of Treasure Island. Yes, well, it's very old. Uh... I remember it from when I was a child. So it is Sylvia's? I hid in that during my birthday party. You were playing hide and seek? No, no, I just wanted it to be over. I, I, I never wanted it to start with, but Mother insisted. We nearly had the police out looking for him. Luckily, I opened the lid and there he was, playing with his little dinkies. <laughs> well, arranging them in straight lines, actually. I often found him skulking in this thing. Well, what's in it now? Milton sent it from America. <laughs> Your, your things. I, I thought you weren't intending to stay here very long. <laughs> Milton must have got hold of the wrong end of the stick. <laughs> he seldom gets hold of the right end, if I'm honest. Well, all those years spent under the desert sun, bound to impair his faculties. Well, he seems sharp enough to me. Oh, you haven't seen him trying to program the video recorder. I remember once settling in for Downton Abbey, only to be greeted by the superstars of the World Wrestling Federation. Hacksaw Jim Duggan is a very poor substitute for Dame Maggie Smith, I can tell you. But what are we going to do with this? I will telephone Milton and arrange for it to be sent back. I would prefer to make my telephone call in private, if you don't mind. I'm not a music hall turn. No, no, actually, we were, we were planning to go to the Robbies anyway. Uh, were we? Oh, oh, yes, 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 of course we were. Yes, yes. Give our regards to Milton. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't forget, reverse the charges. Right. Bye, Sylvia. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye. It's gone to voicemail. Lewis. You just rang Lewis. I thought... You thought what? He'd pick up for a cosy chat. But good. Chances are he sent the text and then went swanning onto a plane. Well, I thought if I phoned him, maybe I could... He could what? Hmm? Change his mind? Oh, for goodness sake, girl, open your eyes. This has been months in the planning. Come on. He said he doesn't care for you a jot. He never has. All right, go easy. Why should we? After what she was prepared to do. Yeah, he fooled us all. He's a serial con man and he's good at it. The question is, what do we do now? How could she get away with this? It's like she's deliberately messing me about, playing with my mind and there's not a thing I can do about Look, it. we'll talk to social services tomorrow. They must have had this kind of thing happen before. Oh, Ty, please ignore him. Ty! Oi! 
one of them. Lady Bates, keep him away from me. No, just leave her alone. I thought Ruby was too poorly to go out. Or is Dr. Carter seeing his patients in the chippy now? No, I think you should go. Have you any idea what she's done to me? She's led me on. Let me think that I was going to get to see my kid and then snatch her away from me at the last minute. Do you get some kind of sick thrill out of this? I don't have to justify myself to you. You should be glad that Ruby's feeling better. She wasn't ill in the first place. Don't give her the satisfaction. I just want to hold my daughter. Do you hate me that much that you deny me that? Please, I can't be having this. It shouldn't be anywhere near me. No, you shouldn't. If you don't back off, then I I'm going to call the police. You can't intimidate her anymore. Me intimidate you? Oh, 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 stop yeah, it, I'm entitled to hold my daughter. Not no. without Kirsty say so. Oh, stop it. Then somebody call the police. Hello, sweetheart. It's Dada. You touch my baby. Hey, try, try, try. Come here. If you don't want to do that, mate. What are you doing? You're breaching your bail. Just let us go home, will you? Get off me. Ruby. Ruby. Get me out. I've had so much misery in my life. Can you blame me for grabbing at happiness? After everything that's gone wrong. I thought this was my fairy tale ending. No, oh, I'm sure you'd have lived happily ever after, with Prince Smarming. What have happened to the rest of us? I tell you, if she'd have sold us so far down the river, we'd have been practically out to sea. All right, David, just leave. No, I will not. She's perfectly happy to sell the roof from over our heads just so she could go and eat spaghetti with that off in those You're 22 years old, David. I thought you could be trusted to look after yourself. Yes, well, don't be too hard on him. You're nearly 55, and you certainly can't be. OK. OK. There's the bank number. You should bring him. Nick, what's the point? The money will have long gone. We don't know that for sure. He could have been playing games. Look, the account was in your name. Yeah. OK, well, look, he would have needed your bank details and your passwords, that sort of thing. Tell me you didn't give them to him. No, I'm not that stupid. Oh, well, you do surprise me there. Well, there's still hope. Do you think so? <laughs> Absolutely. Bring him. That's nice. Yeah, I feel dead grown up. Oh, no, don't say things like that. Oh, will you stop worrying about age? I'm interested in you, not the year you was born. And I hope you feel the same about me. Of course I do. Well, then. Well, it's not just down to us, is it? Unfortunately, the wider world has an opinion. So you folks for a start. Oh, what about them? I'm an adult now. I make my own decisions. You don't let your parents stick the beacon to your light. <laughs> Dunno. Don't always get the choice. Oh, yeah. There you go. Table's ready. I'll be able to take your drinks order in a minute. Thanks. Evening. Hiya. So, Tracy, what's your employment history? Right. Well, I've worked as a florist mainly, so I'm familiar with ordering, with paperwork. Oh, and if you want a ribbon not tying, then I'm your woman. Oh. <laughs> that might be a tad excessive for six grosser panties. So, other than floristry, what else have you done? Well, there's motherhood, and that is the most important job a woman can do. That's a point of view, I suppose. Anything else? Oh, well, there was a bit of a gap, you know, due to um, circumstances beyond my control. Yeah, when you went inside, you mean? Oh, come on, Carla. I just need a chance to prove what I can do. I think you'll find I'm very versatile and, um, eager to please. Um, no, how can you say no? From where I'm sitting, I think she's got a lot to offer. All right. OK, we'll give you a try. Well, it won't be my first. <laughs> <laughs> no, it won't. You start on Monday. Oh, that is great. You will not regret it. I better not for your sake. Cheers, sis. I'll go get the drinks in. Oh, so you caved then. How'd you guess? Oh, Tracy's grin. She's showing more teeth than jaws. I'm surprised she not took a chunk out the bar. Actually, it's my little brother who's been doing the biting. A sight more than he can chew this time, though. It'll be fun watching. And, hey, it might make our life easier. By having Tracy in the factory, how'd you work that out? Well, while Rob is firefighting Tracy, it means it leaves us to run our business, are we? OK. Well, perhaps it was a misunderstanding, like she said. Well, what sort of misunderstanding? Either she's leaving him for good or she's not. <laughs> Mind you, I wasn't persuaded by her implication that Milton was a bit... Uh... What, and do lally? <laughs> yeah, not at all. He's sharper than most men half his age. No, something don't tell him. Yes, yes, it arrived safely, but I, I don't understand why you said... Well, 
I just thought I'd make you realise how much you'd missed me. I had no intention of abandoning... Yes, well, what does she know? She doesn't show her face for months on end and now she's dishing out the orders. Yes, well, I care for you too. Have, haven't we been happy? No, no, that's all dealt with. I've got that right out of my system. Oh, oh don't say that. No, I, I want to come back very much. Milton, Milton, please. At our time of life, we, we shouldn't be... Milton? Something you can do. You must be able to trace him or. Okay, well, thank you. Well? It's all gone. Every penny. What about the 40 grand? All of it. He transferred it into five separate accounts this afternoon. But if he didn't have your password? He did. Am I lucky? Must have found my diary. What? You had it written down. Only his back up. They say I was negligent. But it's my fault. You don't expect someone to go rifling through your things, do you? Not if you're going out on the sly with a convicted con artist, no. Oh, just leave her alone, will you? Even took the money for the flight socks. Right, fine. Look, we need to ring the police. Oh, why? We'll be drinking champagne in business class by now. She's right. Whoever it is, get rid of them. Look, we need to report this. The police can't find him if they're not looking. It was a courier. Mm. It's addressed to you, though. Well, who'd send it here? Oh. Um, £9,000. Repayment in full. Love, Lewis. Eight thousand nine hundred and fifty, nine thousand. Plus the thousand is already repaid, and that was the amount I paid that penny to keep quiet. Well, that's about the last time he ripped off a love crest. All right, David, it's not helpful. Well, come on, I mean, he didn't even change the scam. She knew all about it's it. All right, so... David. I'm a stupid, deluded old woman. Who could possibly find me attractive or what to make a life with me? Don't you think I've been punished enough? He's broken my heart, drowned it into the floor with his built-up shoe. You wore built-up shoes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was him, wasn't it? Never quite what he seemed. Anyway, I've not lost everything, I suppose. Um, excuse me, what do you think you're doing? It's my mummy. I'm sorry, did I misread the envelope? Because I'm sure when I last looked, I could have sworn it said Audrey. It's, but it's my money. Yes, and that was a £10,000 that I paid Penny, which is now returned. Thank you. You can't seriously be intending to take it. I don't know what I intend to do right now, Gail. But I'm certainly not inclined to foot the bill for your self-centred stupidity, thank you, or for breaking my heart. Well, I'm sorry. You can't do this to me, Mum. I'm your daughter. Yes, well, maybe you should have thought of that before you started sleeping with my ex. We never slept together. What? He diddled you out of 40 grand and you never even got to sample the goods? Oh. He might be a mile high, but I'm surprised we can't hear him laughing. <laughs> anyway, good night, Gail. I know, I'm really sorry I got delayed. Is he OK? Yeah, good. I'll set off now. All right, thanks. Bye. Right, best make tracks. Yeah, thanks, Kev. What, you have to pick up Jack? Yeah. Nice. I just wish you could have given me the same chance with my kid. <sighs> Ty. After all that's happened, how could you? You of all people, you come between me and my child. I had no choice. What do you think would have happened, eh, if I didn't? 
Kirsty was itching to call the coppers. It's right, Ty. In fact, I was so close. I could feel Ruby's breath on my face. I just wanted to hold her for a minute. And that minute could have cost you a lifetime. You might have been banged up. She could have disappeared with Ruby. Then where would you have been? Pretty much where I am now. Because chances are I'm going down anyway. And for all I know, that might have been the last chance I get to hold her. Well, I think we've got about enough for now. All we need is the disc. So there's not as much chance of tracking him down. We'll do our best. But he's got a few hours start on us and he's clearly not making this up as he goes along. Add in the fact that he's done it before. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, sir. It's going to be difficult. I feel like impossible, more like. Yeah. That's right, we'll let ourselves out. Well, that disc should give him a good laugh down at the station. I'll pop back after we close. Give her a break, please. Anyway, they called it Tommy Webb and the Spiders. <laughs> oh, do you know if ever there was a couple that deserved each other? Mm -hmm. No. I'd sooner not watch the floor show, though. Well, I'd get used to it if I was you, because it's coming to a factory near you for Monday. <laughs> Listen, girls, you're going to have to stop staring, otherwise we're going to have to start selling tickets. Oh, really? Can we have two? You got change of five feet. <sighs> Michelle, you really need to get over it, because we're going to be working together. You do know he's got farm for this, don't you? Giving people jobs to get him into bed. Ooh. Sounds like a perk. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. oh, I'm quite flushed. Do you think... Oh, do you think they'd run to a Manhattan iced tea? Oh, I think that might be pushing it. <laughs> oh, well, I'll have, um... I'll have a vodka and tonic, Roy, large. I've worked up quite a thirst. What have you been doing? Have you spoken to Milton? As the great Oscar Hammerstein had it, I have been washing that man right out of my hair. Metaphorically speaking, of course. All Americana and Milton-related tat has been bagged up to go to the charity shop. I, I, I don't understand. I thought he you... He and I have gone our separate ways. I'm sorry, I apologise. I should have let you know as soon as I arrived. What, what went wrong? You and Milton seem so well suited. Yes, yes, well, he was. Hmm. He was a lovely man. But his country was not. One can only be wished a nice day so many times, choose from so many sandwich fillings and television channels, and endure so much ear-splitting enthusiasm for anything and everything, regardless of merit. Oh, I'll get my own drink, shall I? Do you buy all that? She was having the time of her life out there, whatever she says now. No, there's something more to this. Oh, perhaps, but I, I think we should leave this particular dog to its slumbers. So, um, do you come here often? Since I was here with you. This place wasn't your style. Well, it's not really, but your mum's been cooking all day. But give her a break, now. Oh, can you not cook yourself? No, it'd be a bit tough. So, um... Is this like a first date? No. No, me and Jenna are just friends. Glad to hear it. Uh, no, actually, it is a date. Is that all right? Since you ask, no. No, it's not. Guys, cool it. What? Well, I thought you could accept my sexuality. I can. It's your girlfriend I have a problem with. She ruined your career. She gave me the courage to accept who I really am. That is worth way more than any nine to five. We're together. You better start getting used to it. It's unbelievable. Lucas had me totally fooled. I, I never saw it coming. I knew it was going to happen. Hindsight's twenty twenty. No, I knew it was going to happen. I knew this morning. What are you saying to me? Lewis didn't find Gail's password. I got it for him. You were in this together? No. And I hate myself for what I've done. You were blackmailing me. You didn't tell him about us? No, we both did. In the office, he overheard us. He were under the desk. Oh, I don't believe this. Believe it. If I hadn't got Gail's password, it'd have blown things sky high. We'd have been the stars on that DVD. There you go. Get that down. <sighs> Not sure I should. Start, I might never stop. Is that a bad thing? <sighs> Maybe not. Oblivion's never seen more enticing. I don't know, Mum. Could be worse. <laughs> How exactly? I have my whole future mapped out. 
was a time for me. One last golden chapter. <laughs> you tore it all up, right in front of my eyes. They humiliated me. <laughs> he wrecked my relationship with me, ma'am. He's damaged our house. I've lost my job. I'm up to my eyes in debt. And I might lose my house. No, actually, when you put it like that. <laughs> He's destroyed me, David. I've lost everything. I don't know if I can get through this. But if I can, what's the point? What's left for me? Glynn's got a bit of a bromance going on. Is that allowed on a lad's night? Great night out. Next, here on ITV.